Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we are going to take a look at the golf swing of Nikolai Hoygor. Now, Nikolai is a Danish golfer who was just recently selected as a captain's pick to represent Team Europe in the upcoming Ryder Cup matches. Nikolai plays a lot in the DP World Tour over in Europe. He is a known for driving the daylights out of the golf ball. He's a, got a ton of distance, ton of power in his golf swing, needs a little work in his wedge game. But let's see where he gets a lot of this power from in his golf swing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a circle here just kind of around his midsection. And I really want you to kind of focus on his hips here. As he starts taking the golf club away, look how still he keeps that lower body. So he's really turning like his upper body against a stable lower body, creating a lot of separation between that upper and lower body. As he continues here, you can see, look, the golf club gets parallel to the ground. And really, his hips haven't moved, but look how far his upper body has turned at this point. <clears throat> that takes a lot of mobility in your thoracic spine to be able to have that kind of separation between the upper and the lower body. As he continues turning, you can see, look at that lower body. I mean, that still really hasn't moved a lot. Now he's starting to turn his hips, but at this point, his upper body has really already made a full 90-degree shoulder turn. As he gets to the top of the swing, you can see club really doesn't even get to parallel at this point, but he's got a very, very flat left wrist there, his left arm, very, very good position there. So at this point, he's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of energy stored up in his golf swing. How does he release that and get that into the golf ball that's going to allow him to drive 330, 340 yards? Again, keeping the circle around his midsection here, as he starts moving down with the lower body, you see that aggressive move right there. Lower body starts moving, and it really starts turning hard because as we get here, you can see there's definitely shoulders are square at this point, but look how far his hips have already opened. So he's really opening his hips hard. He's really creating a lot of separation between the upper and lower body. But really what I want you to focus on here, we see how he's got his left glute muscle here. He's got his hips have turned, but watch how at this point, his hips don't do a lot of turning at this point. They've really, they don't continue to open, but he's posting up on that left leg. And what this is causing him to do is his hips are actually slowing down at this point, but his upper body and his hands and his arms are creating a lot of speed. And that's what's really unleashing into the back of the golf ball right now. If you get in this impact position here, I mean, that's a perfect impact position Right arm below the left, still got a little bit of bend in that right arm. And then he gets into a full, full extension here as his upper body continues to turn and gets into a full release. So Nikolai Hoygar, definitely someone to contend with for Team USA in the upcoming Ryder Cup matches. This kid hits the ball a long way off the tee. Once he starts playing on the PGA Tour, people are going to start talking about the distance that he's got, similar to like... Bryson DeChambeau, similar to when Dustin Johnson was out hitting the long ball. He's going to hit the golf ball a long way off the tee. And if he can start focusing a little bit more and getting that short game dialed in, we're going to hear a lot from Nikolai Hoygar in the upcoming years.